Bro, nobody is perfect. And not even all these famous people you see on social media. Travis Scott, Playboy Cardi, Justin Bieber, the Beyonce's, Kardashians, all that all that shit is fake. Bitch, you can play, cause I let it play. Now I'm gonna skate. Flashback. Hey guys, me Andrew. He's been diagnosed with mesothelioma. <laughs> what the f am I saying? Ah, that's Andrew. What's good? Oh, shit. that's a whole BG. <laughs> I was telling these like a freestyle art, so I had to come up with three rhymes. It was like bad. Yeah, she looked like a diva. Okay, got it. <laughs> we got the depressing fit right here. What? The Rick Owens. Oh yeah, and then we got Ferrari jacket. The Ferrari jacket. The Ferrari jacket. You know what I'm saying? I didn't thrift this at all. Boy. Good. You smell like an open the door. It's good. Yeah, we out here in the apartment. Of Welcome to the MTV Cribs. Zoom in, zoom in, zoom out. And we all know that, but we still give into this perception of, oh wow, like we have to be these guys. Like, no, we don't have to be these guys. Social media is not a competition. Depending on how you use it, you can use it as a perception of art, a way to express yourself, a way just to, just anything. Don't use it as a way to demotivate yourself because that's not the purpose of social media. That's not the purpose of life. There's no point in getting depressed over what you see on social media or just anything in general. If anything, use that as either inspiration to get to where you want to be or use that as... Actually, matter of fact, don't even use it as anything. Get off social media, live your own life. Don't look at other people. Like, what What makes you so inclined to want to look at a person's life so much, their story? I understand if it's for entertainment, but if you're not feeling any sort of entertainment value off of that, maybe just take a step out of that, get into your own reality, and just focus on yourself. Pro tip, don't follow celebrities on social media because yes. nine times out of 10, they don't contribute anything to inspiration or creative development. Yeah. I learned that from some person. I guess you can call this a disease. It's a disease that everybody can relate to. This disease is called self-hate. Everybody has experienced it at some point in their life, whether it was when you were young, whether it's now, or whether it's when you're older in the future. You might have confidence today, you might lose it another day. It just it's, it just happens, it's life. And this self-hate is usually kind of like a, not necessarily a result of wanting to be like something you can't achieve, but it can be depending on what type of self-hate you have. A lot of people have self-hate where they're just uncomfortable with their body, where they don't even like the way they look. They don't even like the way, they just hate everything about them. Other people have self-hate where they just hate the way they act around people. They can't even speak to somebody without tripping up on their words. That used to be me. You were just socially awkward. I was just like super awkward. Yeah. I can't really say it was self-hate, like to the point where it's like, oh my God, I hate myself. Like, why am I in my body? But it's just disliking certain aspects of yourself. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. Oh my god. What, what is this? Oh my. I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to stop the video like this. Uh, I, I just wanted to say something important though. Oh yeah, say what's up to my roommate, EJ. I just wanted to let you guys know that I created a Patreon. I know I've said multiple times on my channel that money isn't really an issue, but for the past three, almost two years now since the whole Adpocalypse situation, my channel's kind of been in like a dump in terms of ad revenue, so I don't really get paid that much from YouTube in general. How I make most of my money now is from abroad, freelance work, and investing. Basically, what he's trying to say is, I'm broke. Yeah. <laughs> so give him money in his Patreon. Please. But I did the math and the way everything's going right now, I probably won't be making enough to have a proper living with my passion. I explain about more about what I'm doing with the brunt and everything else right now at the end of this video, so stay tuned for that. I tried to make it as inexpensive. I can't even pronounce the damn word. <sighs> he tried to make it as inexpensive as possible so you guys can just support with all the money that you have, really. Yeah. Uh, you don't have to have a lot of money just to help out a brother in college doing YouTube, trying to make videos for y'all, you know. Yeah. I tried to write down like little key points of what I was gonna say in this video and I still couldn't. But yeah, he pretty much explained it. You should put um, all the all the cuts that you just did. Don't you f up? You should put that in. <laughs> I 
actually, I could add that to the bloopers. There are special perks for supporting the Patreon. Some include being able to give ideas and suggestions towards Abra and the YouTube channel. I'll also be asking you guys for help on different designs and different projects I'm gonna be working on. You get early access to videos and bloopers on my channel, access to discounts from Abra, being able to be in a group chat with me and hitting me up every day for any questions you might have, any life advice you might need, or just anything in general like as long as it's not weird bro like we're straight okay <laughs> for other crazier rewards your name is gonna be at the end of every single video and I'll be giving away free items from a to anybody that pledges uh, $50 or more which is a lot of money that's why you're getting free shit. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much it for the Patreon. Link is in the description, so you can click on that with it on your phone or your computer. And follow my Instagram and Twitter, because those are the main social medias I use. And I really appreciate it if you guys will stay updated and check out what I did. And, you know, just stay updated with the channel, man. I'm trying to build a community. Let's get on back to the sweet life of... So the one sitting inside of his apartment talking about depressive topics that aren't supposed to make us depressed, but make us... Yeah, I don't know what I'm saying, but check out my Discord server if you want to talk to me and other people on the channel. <laughs> Most of my life... Like I would just talk to like my friends, but I would try to avoid females. I would try to talk, to, like avoid talking to girls. Women, woman, sorry. Sympathy. No, it's not. Females. Referring to them as females okay. is Wummy. objectification. Let us Wookie. be correct. Wummy. Wummy. Let me tell you the story. There was this one girl that walked up to me in ninth grade. She was in my track practice. Like, I mean, you I was in track. Yeah, she was in my track practice, but how? When? Well, this was ninth grade. You was fast. Yeah, I used to do track like shit. Oh, I mean, where? This was, I mean, I only did it for two weeks, but I used to like be so athletic when I was a kid because I used to do Taekwondo. Yeah, like this girl came up to me after track practice and she was talking to me and broke. I broke down because this is the first time a girl ever walked up to me and actually like bothered to like talk to me like like that. But me, I was like, hey girl. I was just awkward, bro, and I hated myself because of that. And it was, it was like that until 11th grade. And it was just mainly because I was just afraid of what people thought of me. I just I was just afraid of just speaking up and being myself because it was just weird. Like, I wasn't used to being myself in high school. And I'm sorry, I'm not holding, like, my camera right. I wasn't used to being myself, so I was just kind of, like, quiet. Teachers used to think that I was just a shy kid, but no. Like, I just, I was just super socially awkward. I just wouldn't talk to people. I would put my head down, and we would have to do work. I would do work and then walk out of class. That's literally it. I wouldn't. I would barely talk to anybody until maybe junior year of high school or something. What I did to better that was to step out of my circle and talk to different people. The more that I talked to people like that, the more it was comfortable for me to even step out that circle and talk to people out that, outside that circle. And that eventually just made me the person I am. Like, I could talk to anybody without having any sort of like, okay, maybe not anybody, but I could talk to most people, okay? Well, with last night. Shut up, bro. That's different. I was like no, in the not. moment. I no, was expecting not. to talk to any girls, bro. You spit it down. Like, I, what was what? What else were you expecting to I, do? I don't know, bro. I was I was choking, bro. I was thinking of an opener, and then I failed at that. This man had a whole fit on, ready to go smack. I know, bro. And said nothing. It's just a matter of confronting your fears. I hated so many aspects of my life. For example, I'm not even that tall. I'm like five seven, five eight on a good day. I used to be kind of chubby when I was younger. I hated, like, I hated a lot of things about myself. I couldn't talk to women like that. I, I could barely make friends because I was just, I was kind of nerdy. I was kind of goofy. Like it was like a lot of people didn't really take me seriously. Hey guys, we're going to Disneyland. Disneyland. This. Yeah, I haven't been in the train and here. Are you right? This is your booty. Hey, but it's cozy as I told you, motherfucker. Let's get it! Let's get it! Let's get it! Flip it, like, work super fast. The door opens. We just blew out, bro. Bro, watch the train start moving. <laughs> so today is the day of the eclipse. <laughs> Only the friends that I did have that understood my personality. Bro, this joint is not focusing. One it's second. Not. No. Oh, shit. Damn. I'm so about to use that footage, though. Alright, it's cool. Alright. I, I used to be just so demotivated at, like, who I was just because of all of that. I only have one of it. <laughs> Top of his head. <laughs> Look at his lips. Been in a booth for days. I'm 
in a coupe with babe. Stop, 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 stop. Then it just came to me over time that it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. It only matters because you think it matters. It only matters because you keep comparing yourself to other people. If you put yourself in competition Ugh. with others, you'll never be happy because you're always comparing what you have to the next man. Yeah, pretty much what he said. He said it better than me. But one thing I came to the realization of is that people care more about themselves more than they do care about you. And not even a matter of, you know, literally like, oh my God, if I were to jump off a cliff, I'd save myself. It's common sense. Anybody would save themselves. But that's not the point I'm trying to get across. All right, yeah. I know that joint stink. Yeah. It smells like eggs. <laughs> That's why I walked away, bro. It smelled like eggs and earring back. I'm talking about from a mental and social standpoint. So for example, let's say you're just taking a walk outside and you see a bunch of people. You might be thinking to yourself, oh my God, that guy is looking at me over there. He might think I'm ugly. Or that girl over there is looking at me. She might think my nose is too big. My, my lips are too big. My forehead is too fat. Something, just something that you're super insecure about. You gotta understand that 99% of people don't really think like that unless they're complete dickheads and they're fully confident in their own selves But most people in the world wouldn't do that because that's messed up Or at least I think most people in the world wouldn't do that I think you guys have enough common sense not to just randomly make fun of somebody and actually I've, I've done it I'd be a hypocrite not to okay We've made fun of people but not in a manner of being Disrespectful in like a joking manner, but at the same time that other person might not see it as a joking manner And I'm getting super off topic. So let me get back to speed But in reality, they're just simply staring at you if anything they could be complimenting what you're wearing for the day. Nobody knows what anybody is thinking. Everybody in the world is self-centered. We all think about ourselves more than we think about anybody else. Which is fine because, I mean, we're ourselves. Like, what else are we supposed to be thinking about every single day? Oh my god, the Playboy Cardi dropped his new album yet. <laughs> a whole lot of red, a whole lot of fucking sadness, nigga. You still need to drop that shit, Cardi. So you shouldn't really care what people think about you because they're probably not even thinking about you at all. They're probably more worried about what they're wearing, what they look like, how their hair is, what their insecurities are. They can care less about yours. That's the more reason to just go outside and be yourself because if anything, being yourself attracts more people towards you. If people don't like you for yourself, then so be it. Those aren't the type of people you want to be around and those aren't the type of people that will bring positivity towards your life. Move on, you'll find better friends. My like, shit better have pickles on it. They got two pickles. What the fuck? You don't like pickles? No, we got two. It's supposed to have like Boom, the pickles. three of them joints. Wait, I can't. Like, it's gonna go into the thing. That's why you showed them like that. Look, no pickles. Uh -huh. Nigga, you just dropped the fucking bread. Five second rule, five second rule. Nah, that shit's is cased. Nigga, just grab it. It's cased. Bro, look at him. That's terrible. Look at him, bro. Why? But just try not to care. Be your best self. Because that's all you can be at the end of the day. It might sound easier to say than do, but if you keep applying to say to yourself, I'm the best, I'm the greatest, I'm beautiful, I'm handsome, daily, you will see such a positive impact in your life because you'll start to have positive thoughts about yourself rather than the negatives. Uh -huh. The sun is hitting. Bro, I'll give you that. The sun is hitting, bro. Like, I'm sorry, I'm just enjoying every second of this shit. Cause you never get this. Like, you don't get days where the sun just like shines on you, bro. Like, this is winter. We're probably gonna see nothing but depression and niggas just sitting inside and studying. Like, seize the day. All right, yes sir. And even if you truly do hate how you look, find ways to improve that. Whether it's a style upgrade with a different fashion sense, losing weight, gaining weight, anything. People say life is short. Life isn't really short, it's actually pretty long. It's only short if you spend it nagging about shit you don't like, working at a job and working for somebody you don't even like as well, and hating your own appearance for no reason. Go outside, experience things, hang out with friends, hang out with people that enjoy you for who you are. Start repeating more positive thoughts in your mind. Lay off social media a little bit and just work on you because at the end of the day, that's all you have, man. So the best thing you should do is to wake up, man, Walk to your bathroom, look in the mirror, smile, man. Just just smile at yourself. Dance if you have to. I don't know, do the Dougie or some shit, nigga. Be grateful for waking up. Exactly, that's how you exactly bro. That's God how you gotta been... start your day. Right, God, I don't start know Start what... your day happy that you woke up. You don't even have to believe in God. I don't care if you're an atheist, Christian, Muslim, Buddhist, like, like, it doesn't matter, bro. But whatever entity that made you wake up or whatever you believe in, bro, just be happy that it even happened. Because there are some people out there that don't even wake up, There's man. people our age that be dying in their sleep if you're having issues with your weight whether you're too you eat too fucking much <laughs> Dude, nigga, what the fat ass bozo hey, yo, 
you don't like how you look because you either look too big or you're too skinny, take it upon yourself to go to the gym or take it upon yourself to love who you are for what you are because that is what you want to be and that is who you are at the end of the day. And no one else can be a better you than you. Exactly, be your best that's, self. That's a fact. I just wanted to thank you guys so much for watching this video. It's not anything normal from what I usually upload. I kind of want to take a more serious route with the channel now. I know a lot of you guys might not be comfortable with that and a lot of you guys probably might not like that. And that's completely understandable. I probably wouldn't like it if I subscribed for a certain type of content as well. But I'm just doing this just for myself because I kind of grew up making super childish content like that. And it's not like there's anything bad with that. I love it. It's funny. It's amazing. But I don't want to be known as the dude that just makes everybody laugh and doesn't contribute towards anything in society if that makes sense if you're not really into this new type of content that I'm gonna be uploading soon it's all up to you to unsubscribe or stay subscribed so I have a couple important announcements first we're gonna get with a brunt if you don't know what a brunt is a brunt is my clothing line well it's not even a clothing line anymore it's a creative media company you might be asking since when was a brunt a creative media company uh, since last week actually but this is kind of my goal for a brunt to be a creative media company I want it to be something similar to lyrical lemonade or ASAP's AUG if you know something like that. But instead, for my area, and if you guys don't know where I live, I live in Maryland. Uh, the area that we're in is the DMV, the DC, Maryland, Virginia area. And I'm trying to just shoot a bunch of local artists, and not even just local artists, people around America, or just any outside of America that make good music. I wanna do design. I'm going to be doing music video production soon. I'm gonna be shooting music videos on the Abrant channel. So check that out. Link is gonna be in the description. I'm restocking season one of Abrant, so stay tuned for that if you wanna know when the restock happens follow the Instagram and Twitter for a brunt and also we're having a mini drop in a couple weeks probably probably like a, a month or less or, or something like that we're gonna be dropping a hoodie and two t-shirts for the mini drop the hoodie is gonna be two sides it's gonna have an a logo over here and it's gonna have an a logo with a cool ass design at the back the t-shirts gonna have that design on the front and then we're gonna be having a separate t-shirt that's gonna be a brunt be your best self. As corny as it sounds, that's kind of gonna be the motto for a brunt. I kind of just want the brand to represent people wanting to be their best selves or be their best creative or be their best whatever they wanna be in life. As, as corny and as cliche as it sounds, Goes a, goes a long way. But I'll be keeping you guys updated with a brunt and everything going on with the company and this YouTube channel. Follow my Instagram and Twitter because those are the two main social medias I use. Hope you guys have a great day. Remember, be your best self because at the end of the day, it's your life. And if you're not enjoying it, who will? And I get it up. I'm fresh off a boat. Dominate well like a boat. Dominate choke. Dominate.